Now we'll do a little experiment. Let's put some of our window cleaner solution into this top beaker. We'll put a funnel here. It is held up by a clamp, but to keep it simple, we won't show the clamp here. Now we'll take a closer look at the funnel. Inside the funnel, we have some filter paper. Filter paper has tiny holes in it, which lets liquid solutions run through it, but traps larger particles. This is just like a coffee filter. We place a beaker on the bottom to catch any liquid that runs through the filter paper. Now let's see what happens when we pour the window cleaner solution into the funnel. We see that all of the solution runs through the filter paper into the beaker at the bottom. If we take a closer look at the filter paper in a funnel now, we see that nothing has been trapped by the filter paper. This is true for all solutions. Even though solutions are mixtures, these mixtures cannot be separated by pouring them through a normal filter. We'll make a note in our table that solutions cannot be separated with a normal paper filter. To help us understand how a solution goes through a filter paper, we can imagine magnifying the solution so much that we can see its molecules. We'll pretend this is the filter paper. And these spaces are the tiny holes in the filter paper. We'll pretend the pink molecules are molecules of water. Notice the water molecules are small enough to easily pass through the holes in the filter paper. Notice the molecules of blue solute are close to the same size as the water molecules. Like the water molecules, they can easily pass through the holes in the filter paper. Now we can watch the solution as it goes through the filter paper. Notice both water molecules and blue solute molecules easily pass through the holes. After a time, all of the molecules will pass through the filter and there'll be nothing left on top of it. This explains why nothing has been trapped by the filter paper after the solution is passed through. Now we'll repeat the experiment, but this time we have a heterogeneous mixture of starch and water. The cloudiness tells us that this is not a solution. Now we'll pour the mixture into the funnel with the filter paper. What passes through the filter paper is only water. We've colored it light blue here, just so you can see it. Now we'll continue watching the mixture. When this is finished, we see that the bottom beaker contains only water. And it is clear, not cloudy like the original starch mixture was. Now we'll take a closer look at the filter paper in the funnel. We see that a white solid material has been trapped by the filter paper. It turns out that this white solid is starch. So we started out with a heterogeneous mixture of starch in water, and we ended up with starch in the filter paper and water in the bottom beaker. So we see that the heterogeneous mixture of starch and water has been separated into starch and water with a filter. So we'll note in our table here that a heterogeneous mixture can be separated with a filter. When we pretend that we can magnify a heterogeneous mixture of starch and water enough to see the water molecules, the particles of starch shown here are big gray blobs and they're much larger than the water molecules. Now we'll imagine this mixture is going through a filter paper. We see that the water molecules are small enough to pass through the tiny holes in the filter paper, but the large particles of starch are too big to pass through. Let's watch. We see the water easily passes through, but the starch particles cannot make it through the holes. After a time, all of the water has passed through the filter, 
but the solid starch particles that were too large to get through the holes have stayed on top of the filter. These starch particles that couldn't get through the filter form the white solid that we saw on the top of the filter paper. We'll quickly summarize the main differences between solutions and heterogeneous mixtures. Solutions are usually transparent, while heterogeneous mixtures are not transparent. A beam of light is invisible as it passes through a solution, but it's visible as it passes through a heterogeneous mixture. A solution is homogeneous or uniform throughout, while a heterogeneous mixture is not uniform throughout. And finally, a solution cannot be separated using an ordinary paper filter, but a heterogeneous mixture can. We hope that this has helped you to understand the difference between solutions and heterogeneous mixtures.